<laughs> nice rebuild. They they soda blasted it and cleaned it all up. Got the plug sorted out. Now, these are the problems that, that were with it. The diodes were popped. There's no way to tell by looking at it, but there is oil all over this stuff, okay? Even though I think they did rinse this thing off with brake clean, you can see that the oil got on it and just baked everything on to the, to the parts. But uh, these are the diodes. Uh, these diodes are junk. They're no good. The, uh, whenever the brushes got the oil, this is what it looks like when your brushes get oil on them. And the oil, it catches on fire, and it gets all carboned up, and you can see that the brushes, this brush here still works, but that brush there is stuck in there. I don't know if anybody can see that, but... Okay, this is damage from oil contamination, okay? This, this is damage from oil contamination everywhere. There's oil all over it. Okay, this gets all shorted out and overheated, and it doesn't work the right way, okay? And then it blows out the diodes. Now this right here, this is a set of brushes off of another vehicle, another alternator. And, and these brushes, are, they're no good, okay? This is a failed part, okay? And this is what they look like. All the time, every day, they change these things out when they rebuild these alternators. This is normal, okay? There's something inside this uh, regulator here, overheated, burned, corroded, whatever. It's broken, doesn't work. Uh, the brushes are still good, the springs are still good. You know, it still does what it's supposed to do. But there's no oil contamination here. There's no coking, burning, burnt stuff related to oil damage and overheating and all that business related to oil. So. Just to kind of give an update on this. Now, the plug on this particular one was messed up pretty bad. I got a plug from the rebuilder, and this is it here. This is just the cheap one, and I was going to use this till I got the right one in the mail. Uh, I was going to have to pack it with grease, with silicone grease, and I silicone the ends, okay? Because it didn't have the little inserts in there. This is just the normal plug, and I tinned the ends, and I was going to crimp it. But you can see that the wire is just a plain old copper wire, okay? And I, I tend them with solder because I'm going to crimp all this together and fix it right. Well, this is the one that I ordered off of Amazon, okay? It's got the gasket on the inside. It's got the sealing rings around each wire. And I, I tend them with solder, but if you look closely at the top, right by the insulation, if it'll focus. Huh? There we go, right by the insulation. These are pre-tinned or silver-coated wires. The whole wire from end to end is, is coated already from the factory. Okay, and I tend them with solder because when I crimp all this stuff together, I want it to be really nice. The rebuilder referred to that as the premium plug. Uh, when I ordered off Amazon, this is the bag that it showed up in. This plug fits a lot of different models. This one is for an, a 2009 Nissan Murano and uh, obviously the bag says Audi 88 which is probably the same uh, you know regulator assembly there but this is the part number that was on it and I suppose that this plug and this regulator you know they use it on lots of different alternators I think this plug here is different this is from a different one it's only a two wire but anyway so this is kind of what's happening here I'm going to put this thing in today and uh, this will give everybody an idea of what it looks like when it's contaminated with oil. It just gets totally destroyed. All right, have a good day.